our series, Carolina Has Heart, we recognize those who are inspiring others in our community. Yeah, our Sarah French here with a lot more. Sarah, really inspirational story tonight. Yeah. They're all inspirational. You guys are going to love this one, too. <laughs> a young man carrying on his father's legacy. Now he's giving back to our community on a mission to help other families of fallen heroes. My dad, he was my best friend. Jack Davis was only 14 years old when he lost his dad. The legacy he left behind is so big. A former sniper on the SWAT team, a federal investigator here in Charlotte. He was officer of the year four years in a row. But his life came to a screeching halt in 2014. He was in a car accident and paralyzed from on his left leg from his knee down. Jack's father, Andrew, died a month later. He had severe head injuries and a lot worse than we thought. He committed suicide. Knowing my dad, and if you knew him, he'd be the last person in the world to do that. So what was that like as a 14-year-old? I remember the exact, uh, every moment of that day. I remember my mom coming and telling me with my youth pastor. I was the only one in the house with, with my mom. At that point, I knew that I kind of had to be her rock because I know what she was going through. Jack knew he always wanted to carry on his father's legacy. And I always say that I learned in 14 years from him what most men don't learn in their whole entire life. So this past year, Jack started a nonprofit named after his father, the Andrew Davis Foundation. Why was that important to you to start a foundation in your dad's name? I know he's not here now, but I'm going to carry out his legacy because that's a special type of person. Our mission is to comfort families of fallen heroes and empower those with disabilities. The day he passed away, when he was driving me to school, he said, if I sat on a rocking chair the rest of my life, he couldn't be more proud of me. And with those final words, Jack continues to try and make his father proud. Whoever he met, he impacted in some special way. But our motto is living for others, because as selfless as a person as he was, no matter who you are in life, what your calling is, at the end of the day, we should all, our purpose in life is to live for others. So if you want to find out more about the Andrew Davis Foundation, they are actually having an Ice Up Cancer event this Saturday at Jerry Richardson Stadium, 1 to 4.30 p.m. So for more information, you can head to our website, WCNC.com. And of course, if you have anyone, a group, an organization you want to nominate, you can head to our website, WCNC.com slash Carolina Has Heart, or you can email me directly at Sarah at WCNC.com. All right, Sarah, thank yeah, you. That was a nice one. It was. He's a very yeah. mature young man. Yeah, he, he's going to do big things, I know. He's yeah. going to be okay. Yeah. yeah.